photography stuff and like my other goals like um, I try not to let it get to me too much but um, I think it's a big thing that's affecting me is just something that you hate, um, that you don't enjoy every day, and that's like what I spend most of my time doing, um, and, I don't know, I kind of just, it overwhelms me a lot, that's probably the biggest thing, so, I want you guys to comment stressing you out in life, um, what's something that is hard that you're going through, I like to read these comments, and I remember there was this one time in high school where we did this thing in class, and we all had to write down like one of our struggles or something like that. And it was like anonymous and we all gave them to the teacher and she like read them out in front of the class. And like, I don't know, I think it helped the class, you know, like knowing that you're not alone certain things and everybody's going through something like pretty much no matter who you are like watching this video you guys have something in your life that like you wish you could change or that you wish was different or something that's stressing you out and so anyway I guess I'm curious <laughs> something that I learned as I've gotten older is that for the most part you literally choose like the course of your life and you can cut things out that don't make you happy you can cut people out you can switch your job, which is something I'm struggling with, of course, <laughs> and, oh my gosh, okay, I remember Bad Baby, Danielle Bercoli, I'm sure you guys know her, the Catch Me Outside girl, she tweeted one time, and I thought it was so funny, but it was so true, she was like, if you're not happy with where you are, you're not a tree ho or something like that and I was like oh, I had to retweet it I know a lot of people hate her but I think she's hilarious um so yeah I was gonna put my microphone on a tripod, but then I couldn't like sit back and I'm just late. 
basically like a picture of the guy proposing to her and it says we're looking for life's little moments tag yours hashtag give extra get extra oh my gosh should I look up the hashtag just kidding I can't because my phone is recording the struggle here she is
see that it's like all wet and bloody down the side of his face. And we're like, whoa. And we start like trying to push his fur back to see what's under there. And we realize that there's like a big, probably like that big, there's like a bubble kind of thing, like a blister under his skin kind of. And I was like, hey, what is this? And I was like, maybe he got an infection or something. And so we were like, okay, let's take him to the vet. And so I ended up having to work. We both did. And I got to leave early because I was going to take him to the vet. And then I, we decided just to give it a give it a minute, see what happens. So that night we were giving him a bath in the sink. And then, um, Rizvan was like, try to squeeze some of the pus or the blood out of his thing. I'm like, alright. And so I did. And I was squeezing it, and he was like crying sometimes. But eventually, he let me do it. And so I got most of the pus out and the blood. And then. I see like a little tiny thing and it looked kind of orange-ish and I was like oh is that a piece of dead skin or what is that and so I touched it and Mochi started like crying and I was like oh my god what is that so I was like go get the tweezers and so Rizvan gets me the tweezers and I pull his fur up and I grabbed it with the tweezers and I pulled it out and it was a fox tail that was like that big and if you don't know what a fox tail is basically it's from a bush, and there are literally like hundreds all around our apartment. And they're like these bushes, and they have like those fluffy things on the ends. And you know, you do like those bushes, you can like grab the bottom and then pull them out, and there's like a ball of like, it looks like cotton, and those are all like foxtails. Kind of like a wheat, like a wheat plant. Like if you just took one of those things off the top, like a, it's like this weird, like I don't, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, it's basically a little piece of a plant, and it got stuck in his face, and it had been there for like a week and a half. And it was just like infecting his skin. And it was so sad. Um, and it's funny because Rizvan actually sent me an article like a few weeks before, before we even had Moji, about foxtails and how we can't let the dogs near them. And I was like, whatever, screw you. Because our other dog, Link, he literally like dives. He like dives into the foxtail, into the bushes. And he gets them everywhere on his fur and nothing's ever happened. And nothing's ever happened to him. And he like jumps into the foxtail bushes like all the time. But Link 
also has really thick fur. So the foxtails never got down to his skin. But Moji has very thin fur, and so that's how it got in there. Anyway, that's what happened. Um, I'm just glad we got it all figured out. But yeah, I told the whole story on my Snapchat, and there was a fat, or I think they said they were a fat, and they're like, yeah, these foxtail bushes are like the devil. And I was like, oh, and I guess what happens is when they get deep enough into the dog's fur, they get into the skin, they like burrow into the dog's skin and they try to grow because it's like the right environment for plants to grow and stuff like that, which is gross. So anyway, don't let your dogs near foxtail bushes, 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 bushes. It's been like 30 minutes already. <laughs> Alright. I hope you guys like this chill video. With the uh, gum chewing and whatnot. We're gonna break 15,000 subscribers soon. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Honestly, so grateful. Like, <laughs> sorry, my dogs are playing. So we are about to break fifteen thousand subscribers, probably in the next couple of days. Which is so insane. That is such a big number. Do that. 
the most. 